Welcome to Markets on Air. Challenge, finding work for refugees. One of the main topics at this year's Day of German Industry in Berlin is the integration of refugees into the German labor market. The German industry is prepared to do its part for integration, but I'd like to caution against inflated expectations. You can't bypass qualifications and language skills. The German labor market can't be designed according to one's wishes. Only 13 percent of all recognized asylum seekers in Germany held a university degree in 2013. 29 percent had other schooling, while 58 percent had no professional qualifications at all. Experts believe these figures haven't improved much, but there's still reason for optimism. This group is very young. 70 percent of them are under the age of 30, 50 percent are under 25. So there's a lot that can be done to educate them. With language classes and training, experts predict that half the refugees currently in Germany could have jobs by 2020. On the job, refugees working at German companies. Mohammed Al Hussein is one of them. Whenever he has problems understanding something in the lab, he can turn to a colleague who speaks Arabic. Before he fled Syria, Mohammed began to study chemistry. His internship at Sartorius lasts three months. I've met a lot of nice people here at the lab, and they've already taught me a lot. Zartorius is a biotech company based in Göttingen that does business around the world. Its employees come from 35 different countries. Twelve refugees are among its trainees. The number of asylum seekers in Germany has soared, and some people here are wondering if the country can handle it. Training refugees is expensive and time-consuming, but the Zartorius company believes in opening up to the world. There is a legitimate need to discuss how much we can handle within a certain period of time. But there's no need to call into question the basic character of our open society and the corresponding asylum legislation that makes it possible. After lunch, it's off to class. Zartorius is funding German language instruction, the most important component of the program, it says, after skilled training. Mohammed has been living in Germany for 10 months now, and he plans to enter university here next year. Things are looking up for him so far. Mohammed has just been granted asylum. Thirty billion euros. That's how much Germany's small and mid-sized companies lose each year in sales due to a lack of skilled workers. A study by Ernst & Young shows that half of all companies are losing business because of the labor shortage. Hardest hit are German companies located in the states of North Rhine-Westphalia, Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg. Electronics industry posts record exports. German electronics companies exported more than 15 billion euros worth of goods in September, the highest figure ever. For the first nine months of 2015, exports from the electronics industry rose by more than 7%. That increase was thanks in part to a reviving European economy and a strong surge in demand from the United States. German shipyards see orders rise. The German shipbuilding industry got a major boost last year, putting it on par with its rivals in Asia. Sales surged nearly 30 percent to six and a half billion euros. Some 40 vessels are now on the order books at German shipyards, most of them luxury yachts and cruise ships. Acquisition. Meyerwerft building ships in Finland. Mein Schiff 4 is ready for delivery. Germany's Meyer Werft shipyard built the cruise ship in Turku, Finland. The vessel has room for 2,800 passengers and 900 crew. Meyer couldn't build a ship this size at its German shipyard in Papenburg. 
But company employees in Germany need not fear for their jobs. Management says there's plenty of work for everyone. Cooperation between the two shipyards enables us to learn from each other, offering customers greater flexibility and strengthening both locations. With its 180,000 residents, the city of Turku has a long shipbuilding tradition in Finland. Maya and the Finnish shipyard used to be competitors on the European market for high-end shipbuilding. But those days are over. Technical director Kari Laiho is glad Maya bought the Finnish shipyard. The previous owner was a company from South Korea that ran into financial difficulties. But when we when we put the, all the all the know-how together, we we find how how strong we can be. And of course, the financial situation got improved immediately, and 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 the people got very positive about their future. And and we have already seen the some of the new orders uh, that have been placed. The dry dock already contains components for the sister ship of Mein Schiff Four. Hamburg-based Tui Cruises wants to build a whole series of the highly successful cruise ship. The Maya Turku shipyard has its order books full for the next seven years. And that was Markets on Air.